Villa Tallonia is a villa and surrounding gardens in Rome, Italy, formerly belonging to the Tallonia family. It is entered from the Via Nomentana. It was designed by the neoclassic architect Giuseppe Valladia. Construction began in 1806 for the banker Giovanni Tallonia and was finished by his son Alessandro. Disused for a time, Mussolini rented it from the Tallonia for one lira a year to use as his state residence from the 1920s onwards. It was abandoned after 1945 and allowed to decay in the following decades, but recent restoration work has allowed it to be opened to the public as a museum owned and operated by Rome's municipality, buildings and grounds. Between 1802 and 1806 Valadia turned the main building into a palace, and transformed other buildings. He also laid out the park with symmetrical avenues around the palace. Numerous works of classical art, many of which were sculptures, were purchased to furnish the palace. Following the death of Giovanni, Alessandro commissioned the painter and architect Giovanni Battista Coretti in 1832 to further develop the property. In addition to expanding the buildings, Coretti constructed several buildings in the park. These included the false ruins, the Temple of Saturn, and the Tribuna con Fontana. To plan and carry out other works Alessandro employed Quintiliano Raimondi for the theatre and orangery, and Giuseppe Giappoli, who was in charge of the entire south section of the grounds, which he transformed with avenues, small lakes, exotic plants and unusual buildings. These included the Swiss hut, the conservatory, the tower and Moorish grotto, and the tournament field. The project culminated in 1842 with the erection of two pink granite obelisks that commemorated Alessandro's parents. In 1919 a large underground 3rd and 4th century Jewish catacomb was discovered in the northwest area of the grounds. In 1925, the villa was given to Mussolini as a residence, where he remained until 1943, with few changes to the above-ground structures. Underground, an air raid shelter was first constructed in the garden of the villa, and then, in a second stage of building, a much larger and more complex airtight bunker was constructed under the villa itself, with the intention of resisting both aerial bombardment and chemical warfare. In June 1944 the property was all occupied by the Allied High Command which remained there until 1947. The villa was bought by the Municipality of Rome in 1977 and a year later it was opened to the public, but with many of the buildings in a run-down state. Restoration was initiated in the 1990s, and has been completed with the inclusion of the theatre and the exception of the Moorish Conservatory. The landscaped grounds are in the English, picturesque, style. There is an ongoing restoration of the villa, the museum. The museum in the villa contains a small collection of pieces of statuary from the Tallonia collection found in the villa and several pieces found in the gardens. Giovanni and Alessandro were, for almost a century, leading figures in the field of art collecting. The works exhibited were in part produced by Bartolomeo Cavaseppi, an 18th century sculptor, restorer, and antiques dealer. Following Giovanni's purchase in 1800 of all the works in Cavaseppi's studio, other exhibits come from other tall linear properties and include pieces of the villa's furniture that managed to survive the years of neglect. Other exhibits include three plaster reliefs by Antonio Carnova, a woman's head in the style of Michelangelo, several pieces of furniture, and a marble pediment taken from a tomb on the Appian Way. All of these were discovered in the basement of the theatre in the gardens. A final section of the museum is the reconstructed bedchamber of Giovanni Tallonia, with the pieces of furniture that were used by Benito Mussolini during the period he resided in the villa. Cosina del Civet The Cosina del Civet results from a series of additions to the 19th century Swiss cabin, which was originally intended as a refuge from the formality of the main residence. It was designed in 1840 by Giappoli. 
The outside of the house was faced with blocks of tuff ore, while the inside was painted in tempera. The complex now consists of two buildings, the main house and the annex, connected by a small wooden gallery and an underground passage. These buildings bear little resemblance to the original. In 1908, architect Enrico Gennari began to convert the small building into a residence with huge windows, loggias, porticos and turrets, decorated with majolica and stained glass. From 1916 the building began to be known as the House of the Owls, probably because the motif of the owl is used widely in the decorations and furnishings. Cosina del Civet can be visited as part of the museum. The 20 rooms include 54 pieces of stained glass replaced, after restoration, in their original positions. 18 pieces of stained glass acquired and displayed on separate frames, and 105 sketches and preparatory cartoons for stained glass.